It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. No. By the way, that movie sucked. It's very rare that a Tom Hanks movie sucks, but kind of sucked. Anyway, as you can see, I pumped up the tires yesterday when I went out for a ride for the first time in this uh, MTD Cup Cadet project that uh, I've revisited twice already. Uh, that slow leak is uh, still there, so uh, you know, sometimes when you uh, leave something sitting for a while, hibernating for a couple of years, whether the tire is good or bad, it's going to probably lose some air somehow, you know? Sometimes when you re-pump it up, let it stretch a little bit, drive it around, it somehow seals any leaks that it may have around the rim or something due to, you know, chipping paint around the rims, you know, um, the bead. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, just driving it around, but uh, as you can see, this tire needs a tube. And I got my two 8-inch inner tubes yesterday in the mail. They're kind of expensive, it's like $10 a piece, you know. I don't know if I want to waste it on this, you know. You know why? Because I actually have another MTD transaxle with the two wheels on them already, you know. And I think those tires are good. I'm going to go in a backyard and check them out and see if they work. How about that? Two, these are uh, actually, I'm not sure exactly where this is from. I think it's from an MTD yard machines or Maybe it's from a Cub Cadet. You know what? No, I threw that Cub Cadet uh, transaxle away. So, yeah, this is an MTD. So the wheels should fit on that MTD. I'm gonna get this over to the garage. Not to whip out the dolly. Work smart, not hard. Hello, Dolly. Well, hello, Dolly. It's uh, 45 degrees today. It's February something or other. And not even a sign of snow. Even if we did get like two or three storms, People wouldn't go out and buy a snowblower for one storm or two. So this season's Dunsky. One inch bolt. I think I may be try I may be I uh, tried to take it off one time. And it was seized. That's great, huh? That's always good news, right? Yep. Looks like I have to grab my chisel. So I've taken off both sides, the bolts, none of it's coming off, so get a chisel, put it right around here. Seems like it might be moving. Yeah, looks like it's, it's moved a half an inch. Coming off. Hey, Henry. Waking up the neighborhood. It's nine o'clock. If they don't have a job, they should go get one and not sleep in all day. Hey, Henry, you don't have a job. I'm out here working, ain't I? Yeah! Success, success, I tell you, success! Chisel, sledgehammer. Sledgehammer! Dun, dun. Nice. Uh, should I do the other one? Ideally, I should have shot some uh, penetrating oil down the shaft there, 
but looks like there's some light bangs. Seems to want wow, this one's much better. Look, it's an inch already. Yeah, baby! That worked out good, bro! And check it out. These are 20s. These are actually a little bit fatter than these. Nice! You know what? Um, I guess I'm going to change them both because what else am I going to do with these tires? You know what I mean? They only fit MTD. I'm going to jack up the tractor now. Yeah, baby, yeah! That took like uh, 13 seconds on time lapse. Took like uh, five minutes. It was awesome. Put some uh, grease on the uh, transaxle so it's easier to take off for the next guy. Uh, but now we've got four uh, tires that hold air. They're not bad condition, too. I wanted to show you something about the MTD tires. So this is the. Uh, inner part of the uh, right side tire okay and if you look at the hub it looks normal right just round and all um, it is of a smaller diameter than John Deere's, Husqvarna's, Craftsman's and um, Murray's so it won't fit on the transaxle for uh, those types of machines it'll only fit on an MTD machine so while that hub looks round, right, this is the front part of the left tire. Look at the shape of the hub on the front. It's not round. It's more like um, a rounded rectangular, if you will, and an elongated uh, rectangle with the... So that's, that's their version of a key. Get it? That's what prevents it from spinning on the axle. So that's their built-in keyway, if you will. So one tire's bad, one tire's good, but I didn't have to waste my new inner tube. These were just sitting in my bushes, you know? Now we're going to put them to good use. Anybody want to buy uh, MTD rear tires with a slow leak and a transaxle? Somebody will. So, onto the paint. As you know from my past episodes, this can of Rust-Oleum spray paint that I got from Home Depot is mustard color. It's almost the same color as the hood, right? It would be perfect for me to paint the body of this tractor. However, once I tried to take the lid off, the cap, it took so much force that it hit the nozzle, spray nozzle on the inside, broke the shaft. So it's useless. I have to go return it. So I don't really want to go return it because I don't want to drive all the way over there, get the paint, and come right back again. You know, I'm lazy like that. I just, you know, not, I'm not going to go there just for this. You know, it's a waste of my time. I want to be a little bit more creative. So uh, I do marketing for this restaurant. Uh, my assistant manager, my former assistant manager. I was a general manager. Then I became director of marketing for this restaurant chain. Right. So then after I left, because I was tired of working 14, 16 hours a day, I wanted to come and wrench, you know what I mean? Make YouTube videos on YouTube. I wanted to be a YouTuber, just like every other new kid that uh, gets born these days. Uh, so he, he quit too, and he went and opened his own restaurant, and I do the marketing for him. And uh, so he, the store next to him, this uh, paint bar, yeah, it's a bar where you go and paint, but you can go and buy drinks and get drunk while you're painting. It's a paint bar. Went out of business. Ooh, what a surprise. Because it's a great idea, right? Anyway, so they had all this extra paint. So I went over there and grabbed some jugs. Um, he was like, please take them all. I says, no, I don't want them. I just want some. Anyway, so this is the yeller that it comes with, right? So I was thinking, it's not the right color, obviously. It's too yellow. It's like canary yellow, right? I forget what the combo is. Do you add black to mix it to get the mustard, or do you put red, right? I'm not sure. I forgot. If you put yellow and red, it becomes an orange color, so it does darken it up, right? 
Will it darken it up to to not be yellow uh, orange, but be mustard? Mustard? Because if you put black in there, how will that be bright? You know, it'll be duller. You know, duller. Only one way to find out. We're gonna just. Uh, I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this crap in here. Holy cow! This is acrylic paint, so it's really thick. Okay, so I've got like that blob in there. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit. Don't squeeze too much, Henry. Shut up. All right, so that's just like a drop. I just want to test it and see that if I mix it, does it become orange or does it become more uh, just brighter yellow? You know, that's almost mustard color. Hey, looks like looks like we're getting somewhere here because uh, it's kind of like when you when you mix um, mustard with ketchup on your hot dog. That's what it kind of looks like. Mix mustard and ketchup. Yeah, that's disgusting. I kind of agree. I think that mustard on a hot dog is good. But if you put ketchup on a hot dog, that's no good. Ketchup should just be for fries. How about mustard with your fries? That's disgusting. Hey, looky, looky, looky here. I think we've got something. Why, Jeff? I think we've got it! I think it might need some more yellow. That's almost mustard color, right? That's pretty good. Uh, I, I'm going to fiddle with this co color combination a little bit more. And I'll come up with some more um, volume. So that maybe I could just brush paint it on the uh, tractor. You know, instead of having to mask, take hours masking it off and then spraying it. For what? If you look carefully at this paint, it's been brushed on and sprayed with like two different colors. That's more of a yellow canary yellow too, you know, that they sprayed on there. But then they brushed some on too. It looks okay as long as you do a decent job brushing it, you know. Um, I just want to get it nicer looking is all. Like the foot pad area. It's just yucky, you know. If I go over it with a coat of paint, this is acrylic, so it's uh, oil-based. It won't come off. So I've been messing with the combinations. I know it looks it looks darker in the cup, but when you paint it on, right, it actually... Uh... Here, I'm going to try it. Wow! I don't know. This paint seems like it, it doesn't really cover very well. Like I could still see through it, you know? I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, this paint sucks. It's almost like watercolor. So you can still see through it. It's terrible. Man, did I just mix all this shit for nothing? Eh, I don't know what I'm going to do now. Doesn't seem like it's uh, coating, you know, even though it's oil-based. While I was cleaning these rims here, right, for paint, because I have to paint them yellow. It can't be gray, right? It's a shame because it looks like they're pretty decent rims. Um, the reason why they, they uh, stayed inflated all this time is because, guess what? If you look at the valve, right, there's no surrounding part that holds it out. So that's an inner tube that's in there. See, fellas, if you've got a slow leak or dry rot tires, inner tubes will always fix that. And you can use it for like 10 more years. and stuff, it just looks stupid, it doesn't work. 
Uh, I tried to get some of that paint out of there and brush it on. Won't work. It's too messy. It's not worth it. So uh, when I'm in the area, I'm just going to go and exchange that paint, and I'll paint it some other time. But uh, this tractor is pretty much ready to go. Um, just need to paint it. But the wheels all worked out. The motor deck all worked out. Engine repowered. This thing runs good, actually. You know, looks nice, too. Oh, and another thing. So the Gorilla Tape, I told you, is great for covering up the cracks, right? But it doesn't work good if you first put ATF over and it's all greasy. So the tape didn't, it didn't stick, you know? So I'll have to wait until that ATF dries, whatever, it becomes a little bit more, uh, you know, not greasy. But anyway, that's today's episode. Nice and short and sweet. Swapped out the rear wheels for this MTD Cup Cadet Repower Project. This thing's ready to go. You know, I actually have a bagger system for this too. It came with it, remember? However, the uh, the chute and the part that goes onto the uh, mower deck is trashed. It's been repaired a thousand times, whatever. And while I could probably you know, cut a few pieces off of something else and, you know, kind of repair it, right? One of the two mesh bins that it came with is trashed. And those things are like fifty to hundred dollars for the bag online. It's ridiculous, you know? It's not the hard bins. It's the uh, two square metal frames that have the mesh bag, you know? That one's trashed. The other one, eh, it's okay. So I need bins for it anyway. But it has this bracket on here. I was thinking, what should I do? Should I, should I take the bracket off and sell the bins later or try to fix the bins and sell them? Either way, nobody's buying garden tractors or lawn tractors anytime soon, you know. It's still in February, so I got a few months to think about it. Got a few months to touch up that paint too, but I don't like having things on the back burner, you know what I mean? I want to finish it and put it away and work on the next thing. So, uh... I'll do that. There was something else that I asked you guys to remind me of, but you never reminded me. None of you guys commented after two episodes. Remember? This muff, these muffler bolts were kind of loose. And you didn't tell me. Don't do too hard, Henry. You'll strip it. There we go. Two seconds, just like that. Also, some of you guys with eagle eyes who usually catch this and tell me about it, but you didn't catch it. I actually caught it. I gotta stop watching my own videos. Anyway, when I was like doing something here, I pushed up against this and I saw that this was moving pretty easily. Well, if you see here, there's no carriage bolt here. So, you can't put a bolt in like that unless I get a bigger one. I probably could do. I'm going to try that first. If not, then I have to put a carriage bolt in here and screw it in on the bottom there. Mary, how are you going to get under there? Well, there's an access panel over here where I can remove with two Phillips screws. Once you take the access panel off here, you can stick your hand in there, hold the nut with like a... a um, pliers or something like that and then tighten the screw here so I gotta I gotta put this together because this is just moving around like that that's no good I had like a half inch bolt that was kind of tapered yeah that's it buttoning it up paint that still needs to be done. I'll work on that maybe tomorrow or the next day or the next day, whatever. But um, this project was pretty satisfying because, you know, after a, a long stretch of, you know, a lot of failures, you know, um, you know, two or three that just, you know, projects that didn't go well, you know, and, and they don't go well sometimes, you know. Uh, but I was happy that I got another sh shot at this thanks to uh, Five Speed Ash who gave me that engine with the trade. Uh, engine runs great so far, you know, but you never can tell with engines, you know, uh, the one before this just blew up after it sounded fine too, you know, but uh, 
this tractor action is pretty good. You know, you get a feeling of what's really good and what isn't good, you know? There are some tractors that I have back there while they run and work and all that stuff. But the quality, you just feel it. And you ride it around and you're mowing and you're turning and stuff. It's just, it's going to take a lot more, you know? Um, sometimes you think about whether or not tractors are actually worth flipping, you know? Because I personally put a lot of time into fixing a tractor. Um, I do it because the content, you know, I want to make episodes of every little thing that you can fix, you know, so that people out there who have that specific problem can search on YouTube for that specific problem, and chances are, I'll probably have a video on that, you know, kind of makes me more comprehensive, you know, I like to have that sort of like in my encyclopedia, you know, in my library of videos, I'm going to have something in there that will work for you. Like I said, I was in one of those Facebook uh, forums, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a page, it's called the Small Engine Something Repair Page or something like that. Uh, I'm on there quite often, and uh, I get into arguments with people sometimes about, you know, what they're saying, what I, they're, they're arguing with me about what I'm saying, and the proof is in the pudding, you know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, you never did that. I'm like, oh, yeah? I'll put the link to my video. And he's like, oh, okay, cool. Hey, nice video, you know? So uh, that's pretty satisfying. I like that. Um, anyway, thanks a lot for following me along this episode. I just got to paint this damn thing. Got to go to Home Depot and get the paint. And I'll paint over it and uh, park this in the backyard. But uh, got these two nice wheels on here, man. And honestly, I'm stoked because that transaxle with these nice wheels were just sitting in the back for the past, I don't know, eight, nine months, you know, sitting there rotting away. I'm glad that I, I thought about whipping them out today and putting them on save myself two tubes, you know? I'll use those tubes for some 20-inch tires in the future. I'll see you fellas next time on Mowers and Blowers. You know, this hood is not made for this MTD, obviously, but it fits because it's an MTD product, right? Um, this hood makes the tractor. This is like a more modern hood, you know, the way it's shaped and stuff with the lights being like that. I think it's pretty cool. Totally makes the tractor. Uh, I paid forty dollars for this whole thing, right? With that engine that was working, but then it blew. But nevertheless, has a decent seat, has a great hood, you know. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, also, it has a deck too. So forty bucks. While you guys know I don't like paying for anything, you know what I mean. But at the time, this looked like a good deal, you know what I mean. The seat, the hood, a working engine apparently, apparently not. But uh, nevertheless, forty bucks still kind of worth it. I almost made all that 40 bucks back already by selling some parts from the blown engine on eBay. So I'm pretty much, you know, it's a wash on that 40 bucks. Um, hey, shout out to one of my uh, subscribers, uh, Lawrence Carroll. Uh, he donated $10 to the cause. Thanks a lot, Lawrence. For, uh, do they call you Larry? Because, you know, we're friends now, right? I can call you Larry, right? So, uh, Larry, Thank you very much for the donation. I really appreciate it. Um, every little bit counts. Um, it's in my PayPal account, and I just use that PayPal account to buy parts to fix machines that I'm doing on my videos. So you guys are directly contributing to the production of my content. You know, um, I'm giving you credit for it because you deserve the credit. Thank you very much. Hey, shout out to my... Uh Instagram follower and YouTube subscriber Victor Oliveira from Sterling, New Jersey, who uh, has been contacting me on Instagram DM, direct message, right, asking me about some problems that he's having with his uh, small engine machines. I try to give him the best advice that I know how, and I'll always uh, try to help you out, whatever it is. But he was so grateful that uh, he went and bought one of my stickers. He bought the uh, OG one. This is the original sticker that I made. Uh, it has the jagged edges, but it's more like a square, you know? This newer one is more rounded, kind of like an updated version. But anyway, both of these are available for $3.99 on my eBay. Just search eBay, Mowers Blower Sticker, and you'll find both of these for $3.99 with free shipping. Um, I make like a dollar twenty-five on it after PayPal fees and eBay fees and 59 cent stamp, you know, in an envelope. And a return label. Am I making any money on this? Anyway, if you guys enjoy the channel, man, put one of these stickers on one of your toolboxes, your lawn tractor, your lawn mower, back of your car, 
whatever, man. Show your support for mowers and blowers. I really appreciate it. Um, so uh, thank you very much again, Victor. Um, his Instagram is... At Life is Good. 1628. Thank you again, Victor. Thanks a lot for joining me. If you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel by pushing the subscribe button right there on the, the little red words over there. Also, there's a little bell. Tap that little bell too, so every time my video comes out, you'll get a notification and you could say, hey, hi Henry. He, uh, he had an interesting video. I'm going to watch all his videos, right? Uh, also, if you guys are rich and you could spare a buck or two, donate to my channel to help keep it going. I have videos every day. Just go to PayPal me slash mowers and blowers. Also, support the channel. Buy a sticker. I'll see you fellas next time on Mowers and Blowers. time on blow blow uh, blow see you just screwed that all up i take two henry see you guys next time and mow on mowers and blowers yeah <laughs>